And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. It may shock you to realize that I'm a big fan of color. And therefore, when I found out that there's a party game about color, Hues and Cues, which by the way, great name, and this is a game in which you have a color and everyone's trying to guess what color you're thinking of. The only problem is here, we have a lot of colors to pick from. I believe 480 different colors. Which one is it? Let me show you how the game plays. This is the game here, with all these squares, hundreds of different colors, all with coordinates from A through P and 1 through 30. Each player has a piece up here for scoring track. You'll have two other pieces. One player goes first, and you'll just go around the table till everyone has gone twice. And you're going to draw a card, which will show you four different colors on this board. You'll pick one of those colors. So maybe I pick... Um, here, I'll pick F14, maybe, and you give a one-word clue. Now, that clue cannot be anything in the room. It can't be a basic color, so I can't say pink or red, although you can say uh, weird abstract color names like lavender or something like that. But I might say, for example, in this case, I might say rose. Um, although pink rose isn't very a good clue. And then starting with the person next to me, each person's going to pick different colors that they think it might be. So people are going to go around the table doing that, uh, placing out their markers. Once everyone's done doing that, I can give another clue that's two words. So this time I might say Barbie's car. And then it goes around clockwise in the other order as players take turns putting their different pieces out in different spots. So maybe now they're starting to pick more pinkish colors. Once everyone's done that, and done placing all the pieces here, and I kind of just randomly put pieces out, um, then I reveal the coordinates. In this case, it's F14. So I go down here, F14 is right here, and I'm going to put it in the center of this square here. The person who gave the clue gets one point for each person in the square, so I would get two points. Anybody inside the square gets two points, unless you're in the very middle. If you, you know, you get it exactly, you get three points. And anybody outside, in this case the orange player, gets one point. So one point if you're touching it on the outside. So it's basically a three ring. Middle ring is three, then two, then one. Everyone gets points, you remove from the board and you continue. You are allowed to skip your second clue if you want to. And you can play an easier way, just let kids pick any color on the board if you want to do that. But that's it. Everyone's just going to go twice, picking from one of these cards, picking a color, giving a one-word clue, then a two-word clue, and whoever has the most points at the end is the winner. So the game is really just a bunch of colors here, and you can see they did a really good job at putting all these hues on the board. These pieces are fine, you know, using these to keep track of them. I really like this device here. It even shows one point on the outside, two on the middle. It's a nice thing to put down. The cards are okay quality, and I think every color is on them somewhere. They're kind of glossy here. You can play two different ways. You can play where you look at the board, but we found it was more fun to play with the person to look only at the card to give their clue with no other thing. And then the second clue, you can see where people place, and you can give some sort of clue that helps them move to the right spot. You're not allowed to give a clue like left, right, up, down type thing. But I can, like, for example, I did rose for my first clue. If I see a lot of people picking red, I might want to steer them to pink. We can all agree that red rose, that was a bad first clue anyway. But that's how you play, uh, and the components for the game, they work really well. Everything fits inside the box here. The rule book is just a couple pages, easily explains the game. The game plays up to eight players, and I like that because it is a pretty fun thing. It's really hard to pinpoint an exact color. If I say grape, for example, which purple am I even talking about? Is this purple? Maybe even it's green. Aren't grapes green sometimes? So I found that to be a fascinatingly interesting part of the game. We made a house rule that you couldn't say the same clue someone had else had given over the game. There's two reasons for that. One, it made people dig a little deeper instead of saying the same, you know, every time you see yellow lemon, every time you see red cherry or whatever, because fruits came up pretty quickly. 
So that's one reason. The other reason is if I said cherry and a bunch of people went to a very specific red, someone else in the future might get that red and then try to push people towards it. Not a big deal. Those are just house rules. You don't have to play with them. It's a really simple game. Works for kids, works for adults. It's very, it's very um, just easy going. Everyone puts all their colors out on the board. You're trying to guess and then boom, you nail it. And really, you're going to score the most points if you get a color. A lot of people are close to that, and you put on top of that, you're gonna, that's where most of your points are going to come from. And I just didn't mind. It was a lot of fun. I played it with my family. Everybody, all ages, enjoyed it. It didn't require a whole lot of skill. Yeah, you had to think of some colors and stuff. And sometimes there was arguments over whether uh, a rose is pink or not, or just exactly how dark a grape is, or you know, the uh, lemon lime, you know, then the differences. And sometimes a color, you might think it's more yellow than it is. Just, it was entertaining. It's a good way to pass time. It's a good way to get people talking and having a great time. And everybody's involved on every turn. And you get points for being close in this game. It's a, that's something I'd like to see games have, this idea of, you know, get close and accomplish something. And this one has it. So I like it a lot. A great little party game, Hughes and Cues. I'm Tom Vassell. We'll see you next time. Dice Tower Judgment, approved!